going to uh, finish the planner, hopefully. Um, I've got a meeting at 10 today, and after that I'm going to try and finish the planner. Just got about five rows of openers and a couple more wear parts to put on. Coming down here this morning to check on the cows. I'm also going to run to town and uh, grab some things for them. I'm going to get a mineral tub and a couple things like that. So that's the plan today. I got some corn, I got some pellets, I got some protein tub. I'm filling up their water. I'd say day one's a success. Having a little bit of issues with the planter, just getting the vacs and stuff running right, but I think I found my problem. I just needed to read the book. Pretty sure I've got the hydraulic hoses hooked up wrong, so that would definitely do it. So we're gonna swap some hoses and then hopefully, hopefully it'll be working then. I've failed you guys as a YouTuber today, but I've had the planter out and unfolded. Got it pretty well ready to go. A few minor things left. I need another haircut. Uh, got this out, dug the sprayer out of the corner, and organized a bunch of seed and chemical. So, almost, almost, almost. I think I've drove every piece of machinery I have today, except for, like, maybe the combine. And it's tucked in a corner, and not, it's not going to move till fall. So, it's been a day. I've got to drive it all. I should have done an equipment tour. I am gonna do one of those before uh, before we start this spring though. I was gonna call the tire shop today and have them come out. They've got the stands and jacks and everything to lift sprayers up, so it's easier just to call them and have them pick up the uh, sprayer and put the floaters on than it is for me to do it. So I'm probably just gonna call and have them do that. They charged me like 200 bucks last year to swap them, so that that was fine with me. Uh, by the time I monkey around and mess with cribbing and all that, I just remembered I gotta pull my globe and set it right here because if I don't, it'll smack that door when I go in this shop. But uh, the rackins have been up on this thing, but it's winterized. I still don't wanna live it, leave it outside supposed to get kind of cold again tonight but uh there is a chance not a big one but there is a chance that we may be spraying burn down tomorrow but it's just so cold right now i don't know how much i really trust roundup and 2,4-D, mainly roundup to start killing that rye are you freaking kidding me the sprayer's dead again Awesome. Well, on, on that note, we may leave it here tonight. If it's not sold already, I'll throw it in here. But um, this thing, a bunch of people were asking how many hours. It just rolled over 9,000 hours. Uh, it'll fire right up. It's definitely running a little rich. I think somebody's probably turned it up at some point. But cosmetically, it's not the greatest. It's not the worst. Um, it's got no blow by at all. Leaks a little oil out of the front main seal. Actually, I think it's the oil it's the oil pan gasket down here that's actually leaking, which is actually that's gonna be the easiest seal to replace, but I've never had had it leak bad enough that I felt like it really needed uh, any attention, but no blow by really at all. Um, so it's good in that department. Um, it's lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, it's got LEDs all the way around it. PTO and three point work. Tires are like new. Um, I don't know, I had it on a grain cart all fall. I haven't had it cleaned up or hadn't, haven't had a chance to get it cleaned up. So it's got some corn fodder and stuff still on it and it needs an exhaust pipe because that had about rusted in half so we ended up just cutting it off and doing this so it didn't get water in it just for the time being but pretty solid little tractor about 240 horse uh, makes somebody a good tillage tractor light tillage tractor it's an awesome grain cart tractor 
um, or it would make a pretty good uh, pretty good planting tractor too which is actually why I bought it uh, was to plant with it so um, I was gonna just plant pull a 12 row planter and a grain cart with it but plans changed and I ended up with a 24 row and a bigger tractor so there it is all its glory I'm asking I was asking 48 but you give me 42 for it and it's yours so I need to shed space so willing to move it and basically what I'm doing there is making a, a line of stuff that needs to get washed this is going in that line tomorrow but I'm gonna go ahead and throw a tillage tool on it tonight morning just check the cows made sure they got a little ground feed and some water and uh, farm credit dropped off my uh, patronage check yesterday. So that was a, that's always kind of a uh, nice welcome of pretty good check this year. Um, essentially they just pay out dividends. So most of my loans are through farm credit. Um, they've been really good to deal with. FSA has a little bit better rates, but um, my experience in dealing with the FSA is pretty terrible um, Because they don't get anything done um, You don't even know who to call half the time and communication is terrible uh, They still don't have a bin loan done that we started over a year ago. So uh, farm credit really on the ball uh, really like dealing with them this is not sponsored or paid or anything like that but I've, I've had good luck dealing with them and a couple local local banks too so um, pretty happy with them but anyhow they sent me a nice patronage check which basically just means I paid a shitload of interest this year because it went way up and uh, got some of that back so that was nice but uh, anyhow I am headed to town to cash that, pick up some planter parts. Uh, I bought new corn plates and all that um, for the planter, um, mainly just because the old ones were less than ideal. I don't know if you can see all that pink there in the gravel, but uh, somebody was pulling a flatbed trailer yesterday with a pro box full of seed apparently didn't have it strapped down very good and it blew up all over the road pro box was in pieces not sure who it was but that sucks I get it straps come loose shit happens but that's an expensive screw-up but anyhow running to town getting some parts dropping tire off the tire shop ordering tires for this truck and we're gonna work on some equipment today. All right, I've got almost everything ready for taxes. And Davies County Tire just left. And they got the meats stuck on the sprayer. So she's ready on the floaters now, ready to roll, ready to do some fun stuff, get some spraying done. So it's cold today. I'm thinking about it but I'm not sure about it. I could definitely get across the ground. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, what I'm kind of concerned about is actually uh, killing things because it's cold. So I don't know. I do not know. Um, kind of, kind of on the fence about it. Oh boy, there is loaded down. I don't think he could get more on that trailer if he tried. I'm out here with the sprayer. I don't have anything in it. Um, I actually did flush the antifreeze out of it. Put put a little water in it and flushed it through, I should say. But uh, I was having some issues with my Raven um, acquiring GPS signal. But uh, I just got that working. So... Yeah, I think it's pretty well ready to spray. I'm gonna change the oil and fuel filters, or change the oil and fuel filter. And uh, I think it'll be ready to go then. So, yeah, I'm ready to do it. I just wish it'd warm up so we could do it. 
because right now stuff is not gonna die um, unless I switch to like germoxone or something but I don't have any of that I have Roundup so I don't really want to go swapping chemical already just for the uh, the sake of doing it but we'll see I just put about 120 gallon of fuel in this thing so it was definitely uh, running dry but what I think is fascinating is that square right there that those cows have ate down so that was all broadcast into rye last fall and uh, I don't know I just think it's really neat that in a day and a half they have ate that much I mean that's just pretty cool they've been here a day and a half and they've ate that much that's kind of fascinating that six calves can do that say that's about as gentle as they get I about got these things trained at this point that one's that one's even smiling for the camera they're pretty uh pretty chill can't get better than that 